storing it on site um, in these dry casts, they will not approve more than 20 years. This stuff is, uh, uh, is uh, more radioactive than the stuff they used to use. And they're continuing to allow them to use this high burner fuel all over the nation. Um, and so everyone pe seems to know about it. Nobody's reporting on this issue. And, and to me, it's the number one issue. This, this, this is what can get us before anything else. You don't need an earthquake or anything else. This, this stuff is breaking down the protective uh, cladding around the radiation, just sitting there. And if that protective cladding comes apart, it can release radiation into the atmosphere. It's a huge issue. And the NRC needs to stop approving use of this fuel. They don't have to. It's optional. It just makes profits for the industry. Um, and they have not even close to coming up with a solution to the storage problems of this material. So they're saying, what, trans what should they do then? What, what should they do? Instead of prioritizing industry profits to come up with a solution, they should be prioritized getting the best material that's going to contain this, this super hot and radioactive material that they've given us. And I, from all the research I've done, I do not see they're taking that serious. They're more concerned with not coming up with anything too expensive for the, for the industry. So they need a better material for those dry casks? R right. They need a better protective coating and better use better materials. And they have, they have better materials already. They're not even using the best they have. Uh, to do this because of money. money. It's all about money. They they switched from uh, stainless steel cladding to zirconium cladding a few years ago. Made them more money. R gave us more risks. And I, I'm, if we had more time, I could give you a list of, of of decisions that are being made that way. The NRC is not protecting us. And I always, up till about two years ago, I thought they were, and and they're not. So it's it's up to the citizens uh, to to get this out and go to our elected officials and educate them. They don't know. I've talked to numerous elected officials at the control agencies. I've talked to people that manage waste at the NRC and they don't even seem to be aware of all these issues. Perfect. They're saying these casks last 100 years. You're saying they last not even 20, is that? Not with the high burnout fuel. With high burnout fuel, uh, which is twi over twice as radioactive as the fuel they used to use, the NRC will only certify 20 years in these dry casts. The proof isn't there that it's going to last any longer. The cladding is becoming brittle. It can shatter and release uh, radiation. It can even explode because of, there's a hydride process that goes on. And I've spoken with nuclear engineers to confirm this. I, so if you need more information, you know, I've got it. I've got all the NRC documents. Perfect. Thank you.